hello, we are settling down to our new normal here at the Council on Aging. Unfortunately, our new normal is virtual or online, which leaves many behind and isolated. Isolation, or quarantining as we call it in 2020, can lead to a whole bunch of issues. It may keep you safe from getting COVID-19, but all that time spent on your couch or in your favorite chair leads to much less activity than you used to get, which in turn leads to your muscles atrophying, you get out of shape, everything becomes harder, so you do even less, which in turn makes it worse, and it cycles. And the older you are, the harder it is to get back into some kind of shape to make you want to be active. Not being active and getting out in the world, seeing friends and strangers alike, can also make you depressed, and both depression and not being active can lead to sleep disruption, as can grief and stress, which all lead to a whole host of problems. It can't be repeated enough. We are all grieving the life we used to have and clearly aren't going to see again in a very long time. Even if you are online and having Zoom parties with friends and families or connecting with the senior center, it isn't the same. I can't fix it. I don't have any answers. I'm in the same place as you. I miss all of you. I miss my family and friends. I miss my colleagues and all the strangers and acquaintances I used to meet as I went about my day. But I do want you all to know you aren't alone. We are all isolated and lonely along with you. I hope that helps. That said though, if it starts to feel like it's too much, reach out to your doctor or to us. We'll help, find, we'll help you find someone who can help. If you do not have a computer or iPad and you want to be able to connect with the outside world, please let us know. We are trying to come up with ways to beat loneliness, boredom, and isolation. If you have any thoughts beyond opening our doors and letting everyone in, please let us know. We are planning a few parades over the summer to the neighborhoods of many of you who come to the Senior Center. If you want, to, if you want us to come by, let us know by calling 781-270-1950 or emailing us at coa at burlington.org. We do have a concert planned for July 3rd at 3 p.m. with Roger Tanknell to help us celebrate the 4th of July. I have also invited other towns to join us to make it even more festive. The more the merrier. Email us to get the link, or if you don't have a computer and want to be able to listen, call 781-270-1950 for the phone number to join. We are also presenting a four-part lecture ser series with John Clark on the history of rock and roll. We begin with Rhythm and Blues July 7th at 3 p.m. and move on to Rock and Roll Begins on July 21st at the same time. August 4th, Mr. Clark covers folk music in the 50s and country western in the 50s on August 18th. We're also having a webinar with Orthopedics Plus on rotator cuff pain. You should be able to call in to almost everything I've listed, so let us know if you want to join by phone if you don't have a computer. The town administrator and I will continue with one coffee hour a month on the third Monday, and Officer Lynn Reynolds is back, virtually of course, on the second Monday of the month at 9 a.m. Of course, we will continue to have weekly general coffee hours. Join us for one, a few, or all of them. We'd love to see you, and you can call in as well. If you haven't already, please make sure you fill out the census. The census dictates funding for Burlington for the next 10 years for federal and state funding. The schools and council on aging are especially affected. If you have trouble filling it out, please let us know. We can help you. Thank you. That's all for now. I'm Marge McDonald, and I hope to see you on our virtual senior center.